Hi, welcome back to CSS Tips and Tricks. I'm Stephen Krecke, and today we're going to go over floats, uh, floating elements, and absolute and relative positioning. So as I, as you can see here, I have a container and three divs inside that container, which are blocks, and I have labeled them one, two, and three. And this is what our markup looks for, like for that. So we have our first, uh, our container div, uh, which is an ID of container, and then three, uh, black uh, divs that are classes with the name div, except for this last one, but that's for a different reason a little later on. And I've labeled them one, two, and three. Now, just a little reminder and uh, something to keep in mind is if you ever have to repeat an element on a page like this block, you wanna use a class. You don't wanna use an ID. IDs you don't repeat, classes you can re repeat as many times as you want. But uh, so like your ID would be like a header where it's only used one time on a page. So, just a little reminder. So here's what we have. We have uh, one, two, and three blocks. And let's uh, float the blocks to the right. So we'll say float right. And we'll leave block three alone so you can see what happens. So as you can see, one and two get pushed over to the right and three stays where it is. Now if we wanna tell block three to float also to the right, it'll stack up right against those. So, as you can see, it's three, two, one. The first element is gonna be the first to float to the right. Uh, that sometimes throws people off, but uh, it makes sense. And so, uh, some people would expect three to be first, but that's not how it works. Um, so now we'll see if we float it to the left. Oops, if I could spell left. And the third one to the left, same thing. So now it's one, two, three. So as you saw, if we float right, it kind of reverses order. So that's something to keep in mind if you're floating elements to the right and you can't get them to line up correctly or you can't get the one that you want in the right space. So just uh, keep that in mind. And so there you have it. So let's say, well, uh, we want to float um, we don't want to float three anymore. So we'll take out the float. And so now if you look at it, as you can see, it, it disappeared there. And uh, that's not what you want. So what we need to say is we need to clear those floats. So if we say clear both, now we can look at it. Oops. And there you go. So now it comes back and it's clearing those two floats. So uh, there's uh, the basic uh, way of floating elements. We're gonna have another podcast that goes into more detail on floating and how to make columns and such, but I didn't wanna to spend too much time on that with this podcast since we're also gonna be going over relative and absolute positioning. Let's, let's do next. So now we're gonna get back to where we started. So now if you see, we have one, two, and three. All uh, three of our divs are lined up. And so now um, we're gonna take out this uh, third block and we'll take out these other two blocks uh, simply because we don't need them anymore. So now we'll just be down to one block. All right, so now if we tell our block to uh, have position of absolute, we take a look at it, it's not gonna change. Um, what you have to do is you have to tell it, uh, or give it some properties of uh, top or bottom. It's usually best to just pick one. And same with left or right, just pick one. Um, we'll say zero. So now what you'll see what happened is it's gonna jump outside of that container. Um, the reason why it does that is because it doesn't know what it's supposed to stick to. It's just, it knows that it's an absolute position and it's top zero pixels and left zero pickle, pixels, net pickles. Um, so it goes to the left. So what we have to do is we have to tell our container position relative. So then our block position absolute will be relative to its container. So now if we look at that, it stays inside its container. Um, we can also say uh, right and, and put zero and it'll go to the right. Kind of like floating it right, but this is absolute positioning. Uh, so we're gonna change that back to left and we'll give it 
top we'll say you know, 100 pixels and from the left maybe 50 pixels so now when we look at it it's uh, positioned absolutely 100 pixels from the top and 50 pixels from the left inside this container and no matter how you resize your browser it's always going to stay there um, I put a margin auto in uh, on this container so that stays centered but as you can see this stays where it's supposed to stay so don't uh, just remember when you're creating these relative and absolute positioning that you have to put relative on the element that you want to be absolutely positioning elements inside of otherwise it'll go, just use the browser window as the default so there you go I hope you enjoyed this uh, podcast thank you very much